Heavy rain has been soaking the valley. It has been causing some trouble. Emergency crews and utility workers have been busy. They've been responding from one call to the next. And the rain hasn't let up, and police say neither have their emergencies. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw traveled around Sacramento tonight. She has a look at the damage. Wicked winds howled through the valley, snapping power lines and uprooting this massive tree. It was scared. That's why the winds it was had the tree sway in, so I figured it was about to go. Jennifer Bertillo says she was keeping a close eye on the tree out front and had a bad feeling. We were in the house and we heard this big crash. And we was like, I was like, what's that? I just had just been out here like not even a minute before. And it fails. The tree narrowly missed the fence and a car parked in its path just minutes before. I'm just glad it didn't hurt anybody or or any damage any properties. All around Sacramento, utility workers kept busy fixing down power lines. Here, a light pole came loose from the wet ground and began to lean into a tree. Heavy rainfall caused slick roadways and tested commuters' patience. There's a ton of traffic. I have the heater on like full blast. The storm caused accidents all over the valley from side streets to the freeway. Without a doubt, the rain contributed to, to the, the, this accident occurring. Highway 99 southbound was shut down for hours near Elkhorn while crews cleaned up bundles of rice. CHP says a driver began spinning out of control, hitting a big rig and causing it to lose its load. It'd be best for everyone just to take heed of the weather, uh, uh, realize that the, the conditions have now changed. Uh, the normal speed limit it is absolutely a lot lower than what it should normally be. He says those extra seconds to slow down could ultimately save your life. Now, if you see weather happening, snap a picture or you can send it to us on social media using the hashtag CBS13. You can also email them to news at KOVR.com and we may be using them on our newscast.